Hello and welcome back to Cloudpunk. Well, we're actually going uh, to Cloudpunk HQ. And this is one long night, uh, as I said before. Uh, so much ha happening, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, wait. What, what are my regular working hours? When will I have time off? Unclear. Unclear. I guess we're just gonna work... Maybe, maybe we are on call all the time. Should I be just zooming around town non-stop? I don't think so. We, we gotta go and sleep. I got some cash. It's not a lot because filling your car costs like uh, a thousand limbs. And uh, yeah. So based on that, and like one sushi costs like 50 limbs. So I'm not exactly sure how much this is. Probably not that much. Probably doesn't even cover rent. Of course, depends on how much uh, rent is in uh, in th this town, but probably probably more than you know what I got. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson, that is a strange name. Who's this guy? I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for an old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. Who's this Reaper guy? There are so many more people like me here than back at the plateau. Here in Navalis? Does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home either. <laughs> the agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Yes, Very but they would always tell me how lazy I was. <laughs> Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice, though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata here in the city are different. I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have to interact with them. And I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes. It's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. But I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. Very. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. Yes, but are you right? Or is this just how you feel? Because you correctly uh, assume that maybe they pick you out, but maybe maybe just don't care. Maybe they just don't care. I, I don't think people care as much as, as you, as you uh, assume. Even if they could tell that you're not from town. I think the most obvious... Uh, maybe the most obvious thing about her that she doesn't care too much for uh, this uh, social hierarchy that this town has. Also, not as depressed as people. Because she is more... Uh, yeah, she, she does have agency. And a lot of people here just, just have nothing. They just, they just super depressed. They just given up. They just pray to the AI to save them or just kill themselves and that's pretty bad and and although that was a good point that this is a big town you know wouldn't you have a lot of people more people the better right and I do think there's like yeah I mean having more potential to hang out with more people is, is can be good but at the same time it, it is also potential to uh, just a reason to not hang out with them because imagine just I don't know like finding a partner like imagine like you have like everybody but imagine like only having like two choices or three choices like oh you gotta you gotta think about that more and uh, maybe people are more eager to screw over others or just don't even care hey I know you you're Cloudpunk no I'm Rania I work for Cloudpunk come on Who stop telling you? that you don't remember? I'm from Vince. We spoke. Maybe you don't recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? 
There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Novalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? We were trapped. The only way was to climb. We did not want to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. It was so dark inside the superstructure, it is impossible to get your bearings. So what do you need from me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Or dead. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near cold ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. That is all I can say. Can't we go back the way you came? No! It's frozen solid. The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones. There is no way back. If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. Okay. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Where? Even with the storms? There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. You can try, I guess. I mean, if nothing else. Camus, are you there? You could just you pick up trash and buy food did that. Yes. Near cold air ducts. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. I'm adding a nav point. On my way. Okay. If you want to help the farmers, which we probably should do first. Well, I, I guess it's it's cool that we can do both, and I and I like that. But what if the game actually gave you a choice? Like, do your job or help the farmers? What would you do? I guess the farmers could help get, get help from anyone. But that's just a lame, way, lame thing to say. Because probably no one was going to help them. Even though... Even though I, I'm, I'm not obligated to help them in any way. Crap. Probably need to repair my truck. I like this car. Hold up. And uh, just flying around and just seeing the city, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. It is just such a unique experience when it comes to... Well, there's no other game like this. At all. And I, I, I don't really expect any other game to be like this for a, a long time. Okay. Do I want to park here just to get some stuff? Bear in mind. Oh, this is where we have to park. Okay, so... The answer is yes. Jerks! Stop taking my parking spots! I always wanna park... Uh, toward the exit and the entrance. It's the same thing. And they wanna park there too. Like, what the fuck? Be considerate, people. I'm in a rush. Uh, corpse like... Clerk? Oh, we can't talk to him. Can I really find the missing moisture farmers here? Sweet. <clears throat> oh. Pick that up. We gotta find three, I mean, two more cards for Evelyn. Uh, to progress that quest. There is a security door. I can hear people inside. Can it be them? Maybe it is giant rats. 
What if it is giant rats? I'm opening the door. I am worried about the rat possibility. Come on, rats are not a big concern. Wait, what door? Is, is this the door? Oh, that must be the door, right? Oh God, it's open! Someone found us! I don't believe it! Me neither. You're from the vents? Yes! The door would not open. We banged and banged on it. People just walked past. They thought you were rats. They treat us with such disdain! No, literal rats. It's a real problem in the city. I see. Well, thank you for finding us. We owe you everything. Will you go back? Yes, but may we go to a bar first? Is that the word? I haven't been in the city for a long time. You both look like you could use a drink. Take this for your help. I don't need... Please take it. Thank you. Good luck getting home. Cora, bless you, Cloudpunk. Uh, you guys are welcome. I suppose that didn't take long at all. And how rewarding that is. Imagine that. Just, just once in your life, saving the life of other people. It doesn't come up any day, and this is something you can truly regret. I can make a difference for such a, such a such a low effort. And most importantly, this was something I could actually do. Oh, let's go into the tunnel. Because when it comes to most things, you just cannot make a difference, or at least realistically make a difference. Or it's really hard to make a difference. But here, it was so easy. Just no one else cares. Or, I mean, fair enough, they don't really have connections. I would just basically just ask the pizza driver to help them out to save their life because they only know me. Fair enough. That, that 100 is gonna cover at least a few. I suppose banging into stuff was my fault. <laughs> You need one more card for Evelyn. And there's some financial. I really like the main quests, and I don't think any other game is like this. Well, not 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 like just back to back uh, scenarios that you just you you have to think about. Or not you don't have to think about it, but but make you think. And that's why I, when it comes to my favorites. Uh, I do like adventure games quite a bit, but I suppose RPGs would be my favorite. Uh, because that's like basically like adventure games with uh, other elements. So, yeah. And I love that. You just explore yourself. You you just explore... <laughs> I don't know. You learn so much. You feel like you lived a thousand lifetimes by reading books and playing games and playing adventure games. It's just cool. I like strategy too, because it makes you think. But that's more like uh, problem solving at times. I like that too. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, isn't this where I'm supposed to go? I'm speeding. Is there a speed limit in this dam? I suppose people just wing it. That's where I'm supposed to go. It's like I'm uprooting quite a bit. Oh. We got a parking area. Should I land here? I think so. Okay, first I have to find out where am I. I don't see myself. What? No clue. I can't find myself. What? Okay, I'm just gonna back out. I'm close to a P. I know that. But I still don't see myself. 
Okay, let's just let's just land here. Fuck. Let's just land here. Uh, I there's something to pick up anyway. Oh, another punch card. Let's eat the candy. Sweet. And uh, yeah, just run in here and uh, oh, we are at Malport. Is that something I can see on the map? Malport. No, that's that's just the name of the entire area. What's the axe? Hello? Who's there? I'm delivery driver 14FC from Cloudpunk. No. Nope, we can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great, come get your package. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. What? Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. All of them called and Anderson's? And how many are called Mr. Anderson? <laughs> 1,000. What? What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. Of course they are. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or... Yes. Opening entry for driver 14FC from Cloudpunk only. No, 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 Rania, you, you gotta look at the silver lining. That means you have 1,000 people to deliver. Any, any guy, literally any guy in here, we can deliver the package to. Are they, are they at least androids? So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. Well, I'm going to give you this package then. <laughs> Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. B uh, but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. I can't open it. So, let's see. I just rip this flap and... It's a comm. But a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Yeah, Worth but it could shot. be private. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. There exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know... It never really occurred to me, but yes, that does seem strange. Please, play the rest of the message. My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason, to set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? Uh, what? No, we are not permitted to take <laughs> any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By yeah, Mr. What the fuck A, are you is doing he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. Of course he is. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. <laughs> That's not really my problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. Come on. Don't be a bitch. You're gonna complain every couple hundred years?
Are you a slacker? Are you Mr. Anderson? More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am, but I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. <laughs> wow. When is he free? Never. He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. <laughs> Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. She keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait, can you do something for me? Maybe. Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Additionally, I would like to talk about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... Come on! Who would, who, who would have known? These androids. <laughs> Can't stop complaining. Sure, this dude book. I'm taking you. <laughs> Another Mr. Anderson. Oh, Miss Anderson. Okay. Do you look the same? Ms. Anderson from accounts? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not able to. I know. You can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh, dear. Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. I don't really understand anything you just said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. So the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. Really? So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months, perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? The financial simulations model the city and all associated variables, but the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. So, who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name. Cora. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? Yes. I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to... Quit. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not <laughs> authorized to view this message. I oh should get back God. to work. Well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. Wow. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message. But I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. 
if they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Andersons' suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path. You have. Do you have the right to just delete someone's mind because they are stuck in a kind of a loop? I suppose that's more likely with the uh, machines. Leave the Andersons to make their own choice. It is very likely that they're gonna be here for a long, long time. But do I have the right to delete their minds? That wouldn't necessarily take you forward. If I just reset them, would that mean that they get out? No, they, they probably would just, would just start working again. So I'm not gonna reset them. I, I think that's the wrong choice. I mean, would I want someone to delete my memories? No. I would not. Would you want someone to delete your memories, even though you believe that maybe your memories are holding you back? Or you learn patterns that are just holding you back and making life difficult for you? I think it's time for the Andersons to step outside their tower and breathe the Novalis air. Would you take that choice? Oh, even, maybe even better. If you were offered the, the choice, I don't know, like, of going back in life with, like, one piece of tip. You were gone for a long would time. Would you take it? I couldn't talk to you. Communication from the outside world is forbidden in the tower. What did you do? I don't even know, Camus. This is a strange job. Will you be okay? I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. Who are the Andersons? It's a long story, Camus. I'll tell you some other... Because if you go back, or like, you, you just change your current memories, I suppose. You are just stop being you, in a way. We have a message. Text only. Control? Rubric. Rubric? Lomo's hacker. Uh, Is there any way to delete it? Pretend we didn't get it? I don't it? know. We, we, we got, could delete we it. We could open it. And pretend we didn't get it. No, no, no. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. What does it say? Come collect a package <laughs> for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. This is me whistling. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment, and they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Be a clever rabbit and come quick. Do you have Why to make a threat? Why do we not get good messages? Because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus, we'd better go. Give me a nav point for the Roadhouse Club. Okay, let's talk to Evelyn. So, yeah, this is where I live. There's some packages on the ground, but it doesn't really matter. Evelyn! I found the punch cards for you! Oh, we can go back home, punch right? Cards. Do you remember what happened? Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. Evelyn, you're really making me work here. Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. Ooh. So now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what. Yes, that is correct. So I guess we should stop, right? I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... 
I must recover the truth. No. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I cannot live like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. Oh my god, I gotta find more punch cards? I think the right choice would be not finding more punch cards for Evelyn. Because even though I don't agree with that choice of... Uh, necessarily, I don't agree with that choice of... Uh, forgetting. Because let's say you forgot something that, that was super traumatic. But instead of trying to somehow uh, work through it... And, and it always seems impossible. In a way, it's gonna change you. Maybe not for the better. Maybe it's gonna change you in a way. I don't want to get too specific, but... It can change you in a way you didn't want to get changed. At least previously. But... Now you can deal with it. And if it ever, come, if it ever came up in the future, you would know how to deal with it somewhat. My point is, life can be hard and, you know, you don't want to change certain ways, but I suppose you kind of have to. And we, we were in terrible situations, like I had to sell the, do the body of my dog, I, I, I lost my house, and I mean, certainly it would be nice to not remember these things and just uh, live life as like a happy-go-lucky painter, I mean, uh, musician. But would I want to? I mean, it wouldn't help me. Even though I would get rid of those unpleasant memories, they kind of shaped me to be to be here right now. Because see, previously I, I made those choices. I certainly, uh, well, I didn't make those choice didn't make those choices because I, I felt like it. I was forced into it. I, I suppose it wasn't really a choice. I said, really. Do you really have choices? Like when it comes to choices, I suppose we can we can say choices, but many times we, it wasn't really a choice. I'm just I'm just trying to to somehow make it. I'm working with criminals. I'm trying to do some good. I'm actually t totally giving up on my my music, even though I, I I suppose I could pursue it a little bit. I'm not sure why I've given up completely. I mean we can just. I don't know, play music in the car. I, I know, I know, maybe that's not what we want. And ultimately, you know, when, when you're like not making make, making money with music, I suppose it's just a hobby. And there's nothing wrong with that. And th that's, that's the reality for most people. Oh, I guess we're gonna park here. Like for example, a lot of people like just play games. I, I know this doesn't this doesn't it isn't exactly the same, and uh, maybe I'm gonna crucify for saying this, but a lot of people like just play games because they like games. But like some people just make make money with that, and you know you can certainly make uh, and and they make money many ways. But then Let it comes to music, it's usually the tippy top. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. What the hell is up if with I'm you? If I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just chopping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. He left his package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Huh? You don't know? No. Well, I guess he's gonna tell you. Better hurry, Robert. Gonna be late. Okay. Good, rabbit. Follow the nav point, please. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Camus. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the comm. You want to know what it is, <laughs> don't you? Come on, rubric. You've been turning it over in your mind. I don't care. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. No. To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying? 
You've got a lot to learn about living in Navalis. It takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. You know what Pallid 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It's much... Rubric, what the fuck? Can you be straight up with me? <laughs> what is this? Ooh, Pallid 3.0. Pallid 1.0 affected computers, but Pallid 2.0 affects neural augments. Okay, so. It makes autonomic bodily functions become conscious choices. It does not stop the individual's heart beating, their lungs breathing, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallid 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be conscious of every breath. They cannot sleep, cannot lose focus for a second, or they will die. You made this virus? No, it is an ugly thing. An ugly weight. That's a fucked up virus. That's just a cruel death sentence. I don't get it. <laughs> if you're kidding someone, don't you just want them to die Slow fast? And cruel, but I created the economy around it. The subscription plans, the digital inoculation, the cure. Insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallid 2.0, the last pure source code, stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in Navalis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Quarantine it. There's a simple, unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample to a secure bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? To fight them, but also to manage the economy. If my associates were to infect a few thousand people with a low-level neural affliction... I suppose the idea behind this fellow 2.0 that you infect someone, then you make him pay up you know very short time every individual would pay for a security upgrade that upgrade would become a panacea everyone would install it and the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave leaving them untouched their lives would be saved you know this city has its share of monsters but i think you're the worst and don't forget it i've given you the final nav point do your job little rabbit he is gone we are alone again camus is there a waste disposal near one that leads all the way to the sea. Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan and he'll use it again. What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread. The package says it is dangerous. It's worth it. Ugh. Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. That's just a speculation. Do we want to make an enemy of Rubric? I mean, we threw away this crap. Also, assuming what he told us is true, it could be total bullshit. So it does seem like the moral choice is to throw away the package, but then we're gonna make an enemy of Rubric, who, despite being uh, trying to uh, come off as a cool guy, he is dangerous, and also he could be just completely playing us. 
And uh, why not just give us something useless? Like, he, even if he beat it once, like he can, he can, I mean, he can probably he, he probably has something else as well. Like, why why trust us? I don't think I'm that that trustworthy at this point. Wait, okay, we're gonna park over here. So I'm gonna deliver it to Lomo. I mean, uh, Rubrics package. Throw it away. I'm not throwing it away. We are taking it where we're supposed to. Sweet. Uh, yep, this way. Up and down, says the lift. Bust up. Really? Who are you, Rotreve? Hey, you deliver stuff, right? No. Sure, when I'm paid to. I pay you. That's not how it works. You have to contact my employer. Seems complicated. How about I just pay you? Sounds good to me. Look, I can't just... How about I pay you up front? That sounds Listening. good. Listening. <laughs> but I won't take anything illegal or dangerous. What's the package? My durable, my vestments, my tights, my rosaries. And my Apocrypha Sanguine, first edition. I have no idea what any of those are. Are they something to do with your religion? You mean my cult? <laughs> you can tell by my robes. Yeah, I mean, no. Well? Just take them, deliver them to the compound. You know the place. Everyone knows the place. Here's the fee. If you make the delivery without incident, come back and I'll double it. On my way. Incident? I'm supposed to throw it away. What do you mean by incident? What, what do you expect to go wrong? I just take a package somewhere. I mean, do you expect me to like, I don't know, destroy the package? I guess 50 bucks is not that much. Because it takes me 500 to fuel the tank. It might not be even worth doing this. <laughs> plus, plus my, of course, my time of driving around town. What? Camera! Apparently there's something here, but it's not here. You know what? I don't care. Comrade Bob. All systems of power must justify themselves. Store the establishment back on the shelves. Excuse me? Hustle pass like you don't hear me. Step over the homeless like you can't even see me. Are you talking singing at me? Another cog in the machine. Say you're a worker, but your hands are clean. Hey, I need to work for a living. They exploit you every day and you're thinking for it. One hand pats you on the back, the other is in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. <laughs> and they reprogram me, mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think I end up dead. Whoa, really? Seriously? They make you sing? Go up second, handle the truth so he make me rhyme. Handle kism in the pros has had his time. That kind of impacts on your credibility. Huh, and that's the plan. But even if I had to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Huh. Maybe if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help, just want you to look around. And see the people lying on the ground? I see them, I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad. Maybe Conrad Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on 3rd Avenue. Guidance? He knew. 
He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Oh, yeah. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my sick. <laughs> he said my flow. Has his ears ring. I see his point. I know I can't sing, can't make good music. But we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, I can't go in there. I'm in! Oh, requires corpse sack flyer? Oh my god, it's a good thing I didn't sell it. I can't believe we're helping that asshole. We are become death, destroyer of worlds. Mm. A quote, Camus? Where did that come from? I have been reading quotes and sayings and expressions. That's good, but I don't think that one fits our situation. It is for rubric. Let's get out of here, Camus. Also, Rania, you're so eager to tell everyone that, oh, if you don't like your job, you should just quit. What about your job? Oh, Huxley, I'm really happy to the hear about you. The call. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Huxley, you can't keep asking for help. I have to do my job. You're on your own. I hope the dame knew I wouldn't be calling if I had any other choice. Damn it, Camus, what should I do? I should leave him, right? I am not so sure. But you hate him. He is one of us now. A friend. Really? All right. Huxley, where are you? I sent the dame a nav point. I'm on my way. Do you have to find Ragwan on the old bridge? Yeah. Who else is here? I don't see this person. Oh, he's downstairs, right? If he didn't have the corpse like flyer, we wouldn't even have the choice of uh, completing the mission. Where the hell is the package? It's driving me insane. How do you find that person? Can't say I'm a huge fan of the camera. But that but that's just a minor uh annoyance. What am I supposed to do? There's a lift here? Give me some candy. Sugar rush! What? Come on, camera. Shop. But maybe maybe there's something in the shop. Worth buff for us. Here's what I can offer you today. Do I care about these? Oh, ah, fuck. Can I just choose my wardrobe? What if I buy a dress? Would, would this dress ever become useful? Street style jacket. Street style hoodie jacket. I guess we can sell all this back. Can I do? Thanks. Okay. I look forward to seeing you again. Can I sell it back? Here's what I can offer you today. Because if so, then we're gonna buy it. Where's the dress? We can sell it back for full price. You know what? I'm gonna buy one of each. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. And now we gotta open the inventory. Oh, we can't wear it. What can we wear? Oh, we can't wear the, the jacket. Oh, then the sunglasses. I like these. 
Can I take off the sunglasses? No, I, no, I permanently have it on? Fuck. What about the street style jacket? I don't know. Oh, red hoodie jacket. Oh my god. I look like a greaser. What else we got? Let me go down. What? I can't go down. Oh, maybe like this? No, we I can't go down. Why not? Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. Street style hoodie jacket. Which one we like? It's okay. It's the red one. I like this one. You like all of them. I like the red it's one. It's okay. Make you stand out. Although it kind of looks like uh, something that's appropriate for winter. I don't know. I like this one. It's I like okay. the red one. Fine, I just keep bringing it. And we can't use the dress. Maybe, maybe it's gonna become relevant. Oh yeah, we should just have these items, and they may, maybe they become relevant later in the game. Uh, then uh, maybe I'm gonna be hanging out in high class uh, neighborhoods. There's a lift there, but I can't go there. Oh, I know, I know what we need to do. So we're gonna take this lift <laughs> when it comes down, then go for the other lift, which might just, uh, wait, no, this is the wrong lift, this doesn't, oh, we need to go down, is there a lift here, there is a lift here, which goes up, okay, let's take that lift, at least we're going up, kind of what I wanted. The parking area is here. Okay. So we're just gonna go around. Oh, look at... Look at my baby. Come on. Stop camera. Why did you go with this camera? Okay, we know about the bus stop. It's very cinematic. I guess I don't have to worry about positioning the camera, but I think it would be still cooler if I could uh, just control it. Oh, we can still... Oh, we can go one level up still? Oh, man. We got this cardinal guy. You child! You have seen in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. Guilty as charge. Excoriate yourself before my mother. Your mother. The old mother! Where's your mother? In the box? Me. Me? Stop pointing at me. You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Cora and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed. I think I Don't may have, have a chill pill in my to pack. Do than shout at people in the streets. <laughs> Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. What? Repent! <laughs> Repent and suffer before the gaze of the All Mother. Camus, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. Crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped away the mask. The eyes of Korra looked down, and a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul. Gross. He shouted at you. He shouts at a lot of people. Not Corpsec, I noticed. Or the gangers over there, or guys in general. <laughs> my knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women. Your knowledge base is not wrong, Camus. Oh, they're just cowards. They don't want to get beat up. Or locked up. Video games or 
people some people are not nice they just uh, do things that they can get away with and uh, and they can get away with a lot but give people power now that's how you find out if those people are nice give people a lot of money give people like ultimate power like imagine if you were God with infinite money would you act the same or would you start changing stuff I recognize you you got in trouble for fraud you saw me on the holovids something like that I was sent to help you Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. I think he's an anarchist. He's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home? To your apartment? Did you get another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. For grand-scale fraud? A weekend on the street? It might be easy for someone like you to endure this place, but I have family in the Spire. I'm not like these people. I, this is hell. I can't believe Bop was going to help you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. Well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. Mm. Still nice. Now, it takes time for people to adjust. But I suppose acting like a jerk. He's not really acting like a jerk. He is a jerk. Uh, certainly not gonna help. Ultimately, it's good to be less judgmental of others. And the best way to do that is just to be aware of your own flaws. And just realize, oh my god. I was a fucking idiot yesterday. I was a fucking idiot years ago. And guess what? I'm a fucking idiot today. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be any different tomorrow. <laughs> so, so, good luck. Might as well be a bit compassionate. When others make mistakes or just can't follow through. No lack of agency in their lives or wisdom or knowledge. It just it's just how it goes. It's certainly not any different for me. At least well and <laughs> I wish I could say that, oh yeah, every single day we're hustling and we're doing better. Like, that's not how it it always goes. Can I ask a question? Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No, I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, that is a cute dog. Huh. Well, let's be honest, you were never a cute dog. <laughs> but now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people, they just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? I love these conversations. I suppose there's just no one right answer. Does it matter what others think of you? Does it matter what you think of yourself? Does the labor matter? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Camus, what do you want to be? That's a good I question. feel like a dog. I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Oh, hey, that was a good question. I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Camus. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. <laughs> Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. 
I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The uh. Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. Excellent point. That's very wise, Camus. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the I highest compliment. So. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. This game is so smart. I like it. Doesn't matter how you label yourself. Like, I, I suppose I mean, people, other people see me. I'm like, oh, that's a human, or that's a male, or whatever. Like, even people I just care about the, the stupidest stuff, and <laughs> like your sexual orientation and like oh my god i'm so offended you don't know the sexual orientation of a person you don't know anything about that is so offensive i was like what i mean what if like we just started having android bodies i just got into a, a robot body am i still a human does it matter that's ultimately these questions are are for those that is it, a bit of a subjective uh, question for sure and ultimately it's a bit of a pointless question in the first place it is for those who care about labels although I do think uh, they, it can be important for uh, clear conversation and uh, you know like what what does it mean what, what is a human I, I guess I guess you have to clarify it because if, if society doesn't have a, like a, a clear definition of it then then it, it is worthless. And and it is certainly true for a lot of things out there. They just doesn't have a clear definition. And it's kind of useless in conversation. And people just use it all the time. But it's still useless. Because you just don't know. Like, if you started talking about certain words, you're like, okay, I'm talking about this word, and I have to clarify it. And others are going to be like, oh no, you're just, you're just making shit up, because that's not what that means. So we're like, okay, you know what? Forget that word. I'm not even using it. Th this is what I mean. So you just, you just uh, give or take, describe what you're talking about, and uh, and, and that that's more correct. That that's a more correct way to to say what you mean because some words are just completely useless. Because every single word technically is some is subjective. Every single word, because people are just thinking about it differently. Even like like just something obvious. Like even if I say like yellow, like of course some people are colorblind, but I don't know. Like I just say the sun. Sun, but people are just gonna have different feelings about that. But even though it, the sun itself is pretty obvious, as just you know, just uh, the star in the sky, I suppose. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break. I fucking love this game. I love this game. <laughs> I really do. This is becoming one of my favorite games of all time, as an adventure game. One of the best adventure games I have played for sure. I don't even know if there's like an adventure game that I like more than this because this is 1000% my jam. Just these uh, dilemmas. Talking about and, and thinking about what it means. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. Anyway, uh, that's it for my guys. And uh, see you next time.